Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirball, and I'm speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today I'd like to speak to you about the astrology of Sunday, January 8th. Um, the moon starts the day in Taurus, and the Taurus moon has uh, some challenges today. Most of them occur uh, very, very early in the morning, but we will still feel the energy of them. And um, Taurus is part of a yod, uh, excuse me, the moon in Taurus is part of a yod configuration with the moon and, um, and Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter and Saturn are um, in, a, um, in a sextile to each other, which is an opportunistic um, aspect. It's not exact, so, but they're, within, uh, they're close enough to be affecting the moon. And both of those planets are making inconjuncts to the moon and Taurus. Inconjuncts are about making adjustments. And Taurus, um, the moon and Taurus, is about staying in our comfort zone. Um, Neptune, no, excuse me, not Neptune, <laughs> Saturn and Jupiter are social planets. And so the challenge here is the, shift in, the shifts in society and how they affect our sense of um, comfort, ease, and security. And so uh, this is a challenging time for our emotions because we feel as though uh, the changes that are going on in society in general are creating a need for us to get out of our comfort zone. So there's a challenge there. Um, but today the big story um, is Mercury. Today Mercury uh, stations direct. It has been retrograde since December. It's mostly been retrograde in Capricorn. The day that it went retrograde, it was within minutes of making an exact conjunction to Pluto, which it didn't actually make, but it was close enough to feel the energy. Mercury retrograde in Capricorn is a review of our ideas around power, powerlessness, um, how we structure our lives, how we structure our minds, um, how we make our mark in the world, all of these things came up while Mercury was retrograde and now it has stationed direct. It's at 29 degrees of Sagittarius. It actually retrograded back into Sagittarius and it'll be there for a couple more days until it does go back into Capricorn. Mercury uh, retrograde, will you will feel an easing up of some of the challenges that you have had, especially around small mechanical objects or uh, schedules, but uh, you really won't feel free of the energy until the end of January when it moves out of its shadow phase. And uh, almost immediately after it moves out of its shadow phase, it actually makes a conjunction to Pluto. And so this is a deeply transformational time for our mind, a deeply transformational time for the way that we structure our mind and how we organize our lives. So um, you will feel a little easing today, but uh, we will continue to muddle through for the rest of this month. Um, and it really isn't until February that perhaps we feel a little bit more unencumbered by things. So. You have yourself a great day. If you enjoy this video, please press the like. If you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love that. And if you'd like to contact me for a reading, uh, if you have any questions, I can be reached at Vicki, V-I-C-K-I, at theseedsoftransformation.com. That's my website. You can click on that and feel, feel free to peruse. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.